What up guys, James here aka The Pop and today I have a review for you guys. I know it's not the weekend but I'm actually going to be busy Saturday and Sunday so I want to move ahead, go with the review on Friday and showcase to you guys Grandad's Super Heavy. And so this is not necessarily the heaviest pomade I've ever used but it's definitely like probably the strongest oil based pomade I've ever touched period. And we're making the distinction now from like from I say about a few months back onwards the distinction between weight and hold because it's actually really important and the market hasn't really made that distinction yet with the products and stuff like that but we'll go ahead and start moving towards that since I mean the pop this channel has always been the ones to basically decide where this market heads so we'll go ahead and start making that distinction because this is a heavy hold super heavy hold but it's not heavy it's actually just more correctly super strong super firm but we'll go ahead and start off with looking at the jar and then move on from there. This is Grandad's Super Heavy Hold. This is their old fashioned pomade. That's just part of the name. It's an oil based pomade. You have the ingredients on the side and obviously we start seeing beeswax being like the main ingredient or rather the primary ingredient. On the other face you have directions. Same design as the other ones, very consistent, just a nice color change, labeling on the top as well. Um, amber glass jar, 4 ounces, metal lid, and yeah, the product inside, it has the same color as the other ones, but you can definitely see as it gets stronger, as like the hold gets more wax based, this product becomes more and more like opaque. But yeah, that's how it looks, let's go ahead and start styling. In regards to like the scent of this pomade, you're gonna laugh when I describe it to you, but to me, it smells like raspberry yogurt. With a little like herbal, I don't wanna really say spice, but a little herbal like hint at the end. But I mean, not gonna lie, it smells like either raspberry yogurt or like if like Haichu made like a raspberry flavored version. And that's what it smells like to me. Just like a sweet, smooth, like creamy scent. Yeah, using this pomade, this is like the first time I've ever really had trouble scooping a product out of a jar just because it was so <laughs> damn heavy. And so trying to like just basically squeeze it, you won't get that much product out. Like that's how much product I got. And like this was actually kind of just product I smeared off of the surface. And so the best way I found... Uh, unless you want to dig in with your nails is to just basically like rub the top kind of just breaking out that top layer really slowly and then scooping it out because essentially you're kind of pre-breaking it down in your hands or what you would have done in your hands and even so you won't get that much out and it's still going to be a super waxy product and also because it's so strong you ideally want to watch out and not use too much at all like obviously my hair is pretty long, I'm due for a cut, and then I've scheduled it for not this weekend, but the next weekend. I'll let you guys know more about that, but I'm due for a haircut, so my hair is pretty long, I will need a little bit more product than usual, but yeah. Like it's some heavy, ah shit. Damn. I mean... Unless you take a huge scoop, it's like heavy out the jar and it's like heavy into the hair but it's not discomforting. You still feel the wax but it's not too bad. And this is coming from me who has like really fine hair so my hair is pretty sensitive to any sort of like super heavy product. And even though this is a waxier product, it's still a huge step away from like the original heavy hold granddads. If I had to compare it to like any other like oil based pomade we've looked at, I actually can't compare it to any of them because like the heavy holds that we looked at, they're not this fucking like waxy. They're like heavy. They're, they're really weighted. They're just solid products. And I'm actually going to use a different method now. I'm going to use like the back of my nail to kind of scrape off the top layer. But um, essentially like any other product compared to, it's kind of difficult to say just because 
this is such like a wax heavy product and even the other products that are maybe like as waxy they don't they're like the presence of the wax isn't as prominent as this one like you're essentially working with like a malleable candle almost which is really weird obviously if it was like two years ago I would have hated this product I would refuse to use it but at this point I mean I use about everything now what have we reviewed like over probably like 150 different products on this channel now you would have thought we ran out of pomades by that point but home brewers keep on popping up you know all right so that was my third scoop and I've been taking really small scoops right now so I feel the product like well distributed around the sides along the front and the back here but still like the ends aren't really catching that much so I'll do one more scoop and try to capture that But yeah, I'm just trying to think of something to compare it to. Like, honestly, I've used it a few times now, but I would have to compare it mostly to, I'd say, the closest thing that comes to this is uh, Sheer Revival's Music of Misery. And... No, that's the only one that even comes close to this. So, those two products... Though their like characteristics are pretty different, their wax, like the presence of the wax is really like similar. Like you get the same, you'll notice the same characteristics. Alright, see if we can try to get this stuff. Alright, so I'm starting to feel like the grip and stuff now. Also, in some areas, the wax is kind of settled, and so we have to introduce this kind of this occurrence we've uh, noticed with wax products. Not necessarily them hardening up, but they always like settle to some extent, which is both nice and inconvenient if too early. But for the most part, I've usually found it pretty convenient. Throughout the day, you'll like kind of go around. You want a product. Like you chose a heavy hold or a strong hold product so it will last the whole day. And the nice thing is the wax settles to some extent which like helps maintain like your pump. So that's something that I'm noticing right now but it's not too apparent. And I do look forward to having that uh, phenomenon, phenomenon occur later in the day. Despite being so like strong and <laughs> heavy in the wax this pomade still combs through pretty easily i mean it's not like a light hold product not at all and it's not like a soft water-based pomade like you do feel the toughness of the wax but still easy to work with or maybe i just got used to it we'll go ahead for start forming the part now No, it's forming pretty easily. It's not discomforting, changing the direction of like my hair really abruptly. So, yeah. Also, the sides are obviously slicking down really nice and easily, real clean. I mean, this is a super heavy hold like pomade, and so if we have issues with it, that kind of stuff, that's when we actually have to do really be disappointed because when you put a pomade or when you label a pomade super heavy hold it better be super heavy hold then I'm gonna make sure the other side is real clean and it looks like we can do that as well damn I need that cut I can't wait for another haircut right now um, anyways with uh, the sides look back real clean Go ahead and start forming the pump. Well, that shit's done real quick, real clean. And yeah, I mean, so like I said before, my sides have slicked back real nice. 
not too tight. It is an oil-based pomade, so it can't make it really stick to my head. The only real products I can do that are like gel pomades, where it's just like literally glued to the side. And so this one's tucked away nice and clean, but there's still just a little bit of like life to them, just enough. Part is nice, hard, and sharp and clean. And the pump itself actually has like a pretty nice shape, good height, but most importantly, it's like nice and solid. Definitely gonna need Harrison to try out this pomade just because it's like a super heavy one. And his hair is quite like unruly, so we'll see how it, well it performs for him. But yeah, I mean, it's a heavy hole pomade, super heavy hole. So what we're worried about is whether or not it's gonna turn my hair into like a block pump. But this product, because it's not super like heavy, it's just really strong. If you're clever with the way like you work with the product, if you know what you're doing, you can actually really easily just prevent that block pump, like that square pump from ever happening. You can just really utilize it to create a nice, good size and just overall like solid pump that's gonna last the whole day. And yeah, and so, Let's go over it real quick. Like the consistency of the product is real tough. I mean, obviously really difficult to work with, really difficult to get out of the jar at least. Application is a lot easier as long as you stay in small scoops. If you step up to like a normal size scoop or anywhere above that, you're asking to rip some hairs out. Also, like the shine of the product, as you can see, it's neutral. It's not matte, it's neutral. The slickness, this product does have, I mean, it still has petroleum in it. It's still oil-based pomade, so it has just a little bit of stick to it. And also the beeswax is not as sticky as some of the other waxes, but it still has a little bit of like a drier grip to it, which is really nice because that actually lends a lot better to control, or at least the way this channel, the pump, we define control. And then the strength, obviously, is pretty damn strong. Now, of course, you have to balance that with your own hair type. If you have fine hair like me, once like the strength passes a certain threshold, it actually works against me. And so you have to understand that if you have thicker hair, that might actually not be the case and stuff like that. But for me, that's why I don't really use heavier hold products, even though this product actually looks really good right now. But other than that, we'll go throughout the whole day now. I'll come back, talk about endurance, restylability, and basically kind of settle how well this pomade performed throughout the day. So I'll see you guys in a few hours. I'm, re I'm recording back now let's go ahead and talk about the hair so not what I expected because in the like the days before or rather like last week when I really tried this product out a few times I didn't really have this issue but you notice that like the pump's gone basically I mean I have nothing more than what would be described as a side part left over. Now I didn't do anything crazy today, just a regular day of school, working in the lab and stuff. And so this is really unexpected. But at least the nice thing is like, my hair feels like pretty nice and soft and doesn't really feel like dried out in a way. So kind of seeing the same things we see with, let's say a gel pomade like Suavecito Firme where we see a great hold, a really strong hold in the morning, but like most other gel pomades, as they fade away, you can't really recuperate that. You add water, it helps a little bit, but doesn't like really get you back to like square one. So, you get a lot of sagging throughout the day, and this is what we see today. And I guess it's just that this product is like really waxy, which is strong, but at the same time, the wax is like definitely on the dry side, which is cool and easy to work with, a little more pleasing, but it, it lacks that stick, the stick that really keeps everything together. And it's not just a stick that keeps everything together, but it's like a, kind of like a balance between everything. And so it's more complex than this, I won't get into it. But this is what we're seeing now. So we see endurance it is for a super heavy hold. This is, this is poor. I mean, like maybe I should have added more product. Maybe I should have added more product. Cause I mean, because of the difficulty of like getting the product out of the jar and kind of how fair, how fine my hair is, I did really use the minimal amount of product. And so possibly in the days before or the other times I've tried this product, I used more. So that might have contributed to it. But we see like a pretty like 
poor performing like in terms of endurance and stuff like that. If you use more, other times I use this product, it should work out. Restylability, like this product is definitely like pushing wax and kind of on the dry side. So it's not as easy as a normal oral base to restyle, though it is still much easier than a gel pomade. Washing it out, you will get a buildup. And it'll be like an, a real waxy, strong, clean buildup. And so the buildup is actually exceptional with this pomade because of the high wax content. And then overall, the scent's gone, the shine, which was neutral to begin with, is still just, I mean, neutral. So overall, like, this pomade has this thing. I would probably mix this one in a little bit with, like, the heavy hold. But overall, given what I see today, I would recommend the heavy hold pomade. If you haven't seen that review, I recommend go ahead and watch it. But the granddad's heavy hold pomade would be a more a good balance between a traditional oil base and like just a strong product in general. But if you're looking for just straight hold and you're willing to put in an extra amount of product then like this product is still a good option for you. And then by putting in more product you'll be able to avoid a sagging pump as I had today. But other than that, like always, I have the promo code available to you guys, the pump, all caps, granddad stuff, use it on any of their products at all. And whether you want this super heavy, the heavy, medium, light, or the water base, which you should definitely check out the water base, watch that review. Um, if you're looking for anything, you can save some money, use the promo code. Other than that, take care guys, and I'll see you next week. Oh, I'm just money.